Now, it's 1.11 a.m. Now, I watched this video a second ago. This white dude says he's upset with black people constantly blaming the white man for their problems. First of all, the white man is constantly blaming black people for crime. Second of all, the white man constantly blames Mexicans for taking jobs. Third, you trying to say that the white man have no blame for what's going wrong in your life right now? Are you telling me no white people had anything to do with the fact that uh, the economy sucks? Hmm? There's been more white people in charge of the United States of America throughout its history than any other people. Look at the plight of what your people have done to your own country, your own people. Hmm? It's not bad enough that the history of your people have tainted the entire planet and turned it into something that it should not be. A group of people deserve the right to uh, evolve untouched, unscathed by hands of anyone. And first of all, a civilized people, a kind people, do not divide and conquer. A chosen race raises the ones beneath them to look up to them, not in fear, but with love and respect. A master race always helps those beneath them so they can get that spiritual, uh, that spiritual, what's the word I want to use? evolution they want to a master race wants to evolve spiritually to go to the next level see a barbaric race of people like to control and destroy and stay right in that level or of, of, of fear so what group of people would rather sit back and watch their own people live on the streets oh is it not true that there are more white people in the United States of America than black people? Is it true that there are more white people in the United States of America than Hispanics, Asians? And with this in your mind and these numbers in your head, do you understand there are more of your people impoverished than mine? There are as many poor white people as there are all black people and Mexicans. So where's the logic in that? When you have to sit back and be afraid of some 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 Mexican or some Negro when your own people sit back and, and let you live in squalor. It's the plight of the white man. The Indians didn't have to, to, to come out of the trees and feed those people when they landed on Plymouth Rock. Did they? That's the source and that's the, the ability of a master race to come help the less. But instead, the evils of some of your ancestors boil down to this. You walk in there limping and hurt. Someone feels sorry for you. And the next thing you know, you're like cockroaches. Running the people out of their own place. Rats. Cancer. A sickness. And forsaking all of what I just said, you let your own people down. You can say black on black crime. Black people do this. Oh, those Mexicans, all they do is gang bang. We're so weak. And we need you so bad. And all you can do is teach us violence. It's not the master race. I'm not blaming all my problems on white people. I'm just saying, white people set me up to have a lot of problems. I said it. Those who put the barricades in front of me were not brown. 
those who threw the dogs out and put the water hoses on me were not brown. Those who destroyed the will and the lives of my ancestors were not brown. And yes, when one tribe captured another tribe, they made them do their field work and released them. I said it. And the Arabs with the dark skin, the scourge of the Roman Empire, those people sold slaves. Are those the blacks that you think sold slaves in Africa? And, should I go even further? I looked at your 16 videos. I didn't watch them all. But it seems to me you got a problem with black people. Maybe the problem that you have with black people stems from the way that you treat black people. The way that you've allowed your people around you to say things about these people. People that you don't even know. Your handful of black friends don't give a fuck. And people don't care nowadays whether you say nigga or not. Because I really don't. So please, when you diss or, or jump on the bandwagon, understand who your hate should be turned to. It's a lot of your people low, down, hurting. And a lot of your people with your foot. Oh, wait a minute. With their foot on your neck. Yo people, not my people. Hmm? Is a black man uh, keeping you from getting a job? No. Is a black man hiring all those Mexicans that's taking your jobs? No. See, they try to put us in jails. They leave you guys on the streets. On the streets to see those who try happen to be brown. Slanty eyed, yellow skin, happen to eat tacos, got little Mexican trucks up and down the street. These people who try happen to not be white. And those white people who like people and Mexicans having things are those white people that white people have have nothing. Yeah, I said have have nothing. Because if you stood on the same run of the ladder with them, your dirty blood, your dirty, trashy ass skin, you're not the same as them. So there is three racial groups in America that are all down and trodden and disgusting. The blacks, the Mexicans, and the whites. And the upper, upper cream of the crop white people can't see you. You are in fucking visible. And those, those people who can't see their own people suffering in the middle of the streets, those people who control the greatest nation on the planet Earth, those people who enslaved my people, poisoned and killed the Indians, and destroyed the bastion of Earth itself, Africa, those people are the same people that would rather see you fucking dead than see you make anything of yourself. And they're not looking like me. They're colored just like you. So please, when you want to say that you're tired of black people blaming things on the white people, I'm tired of the elite putting their feet on the poor. I said it. So please, young white man, Understand who you love and who you don't love and who you like, who you dislike, who you hate. Because in the end, that man that needs to be looking in the mirror is not brown. That man that needs to be looking in the mirror is not Mexican. That man that needs to be looking in the mirror looks you. Oh yeah, and for the record, the record you have been tubed. I'm going to go ahead and let you have your video connected to mine. As long as this one is connected to yours. Thank you. And the next time you speak, speak as a man in a man's voice and not as a child in an ignorant line of ignorance. Whatever. You've been tuned.